Hi, Marco here. Don't you just love trying out new things, like a brand new ID, for example? Let me show you something. Imagine you had a text editor. It's pretty snappy, and it runs on every operating system. And then you can do what you can do with a text editor, like browse your folders, and have a look at the files inside. So for example, here's a SQL file with basic syntax highlighting enabled, the same for a JSON file. And then when you browse a couple more folders, you'll see that it's actually a Java project. It has a couple of Java classes inside, again, with basic syntax highlighting enabled, but no advanced features like refactorings, for example. Now, what if you could turn this text editor into a full-blown IDE by just clicking a single button? Let's do that. As you can see, smart mode is now starting. What does that mean? It means that you can imagine in the background, there's an IntelliJ IDEA instance running, which now opens up your project. It downloads the dependencies, it creates the indices and whatnot. And then later on, it's gonna feed this text editor with the data like advanced refactorings, auto completions, navigations, and whatnot. As you can see already, a couple things changed here in this editor window. Now it's not just basic syntax highlighting anymore, but you can already have a look at the usages, for example. Here's a logger variable with two usages, and when I click it, I can see in this file, there's two times where the logger instance variable is being used. It's not too exciting, might be more exciting if you have a big project uh, with usages across several files, but it gives you an idea of what this can do. Then when you scroll down, what you also can do is, for example, have a look at your favorite refactorings, like renamings. Instead of calling it username, you might for whatever reason just call it user. You can see there's a warning down here. Simply hit all enter and replace it with the standard char sets US ASCII. You can obviously also just, you know, select the body here, extract a variable, like so. And you can also access your favorite auto completions, like if you wanted to, for whatever reason, trim the body here. Now working on such a project all by myself is a bit lonely, so let's do something. Let me share my workspace, take the invitation link, and invite a good friend of mine, Hadi, to join me in this editor. All right, as you can see, I just put my headphones on. Hadi is trying to join my editor, and I'm just gonna give him full access. Hello, Hadi. Hey, Marco, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing great, thank you. Hadi, I could need your help with something, I have a test that? which is not that great. Could you just help me make it a bit cleaner, actually? Uh, yeah. At when will you learn, Marco? When will you learn? I keep telling you, you start with the tests and then you go with the code. Yeah. Okay. Let me uh, actually just add some comments while you're editing that test. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. I mean, what is this? How are people meant to understand what this means? You know, there's this thing called refactoring. So let's bring this out into a variable. And oh, nice! I I like that Tealf. I I like that name. Tealf. There you go. How 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 does that look for you? Does is that better? It it looks much better actually, and that's nice. that's a great pair programming session. Hadi, actually, thank you for your work so far. I'll just get back to you in a second, okay? Okay. All right. Now hold on a second. A bit earlier, I told you that essentially we're running an embedded version of IntelliJ IDEA on my machine. But instead of running it on my machine locally, couldn't we just run that backend on some very strong server in the cloud? And then it doesn't matter if I'm accessing that backend from my desktop PC, from my laptop, or from even my mobile phone, right? Tell you what, let's give that a try as well. So I'm just gonna close down this instance here. I'm going to JetBrains space where I have a repository hosted. And conveniently enough, you can see I have an environment here which has four CPUs, seven gigabytes of RAM, 40 gigabytes of disk space. And I have a convenient button called open an IDE. As you can see, my IDE is being launched. It's gonna take a second. And what that means is that somewhere in the cloud now, a Docker container is running with your IDE backend, with your source code being downloaded to it, already being indexed, all the dependencies being available. And you can now browse the project. And I'm not browsing this project on my local PC, actually I'm browsing that project straight on the server. And every refactoring I'm doing, every auto-completion and whatnot, like if I had a string hello here and trim, that functionality is also being executed 
on the server for me. Now, it doesn't matter if I just close on this window here, go to my laptop, open it up again, I can you know, continue right where I left off. And again, as before, it's a bit more exciting to have multiple people working on the same project. So let's just quickly invite Hardy back. Welcome back, Hardy. Sorry for kicking you out earlier. It's okay. I know that I'm just your auxiliary test unit. Could, could you only <laughs> want me for tests? That's true. Could you help me with one more test, please? There's, sure. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty tricky one. Can you just quickly fix it for me? Oh, it's oh yeah. Okay, so here's here's how you would fix that. Uh, I think that is correct. I'm um, no hold no. Wait a minute. That's no. actually uh, not, uh, yeah. There you go. That's you go. That's how you fix okay, it. Okay, that's great. Let me just you know quickly run this and see if it works. Okay. And then we can live. Ha that was perfect. I, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Do you know that's what I'm here for? Cool. Thanks again. All right. Stop imagining things. Get fleet and try out everything yourself that you just saw me do in this video. It's an early version. A lot of the things are not working as you might expect, but whatever is working is pretty darn exciting. It's fleet.